There's the heart, that flashing, flickering. Most people associate ultrasounds with pregnancy, but many don't realize that ultrasounds can also measure blood flow through the body's large arteries. And here at Sunnybrook's Research Institute, senior imaging scientist Dr. Peter Burns and his team have taken that to a whole new level, measuring blood flow in vessels that are a million times smaller, letting them find cancer quickly and non-invasively. So the way we're doing this is by using microbubbles tiny bubbles of gas which are smaller than a red blood cell. We inject a minute quantity, just a droplet, into the vein of a patient. And we use the sound to make these bubbles uh, oscillate. They get bigger and smaller and ring like a bell. And when they ring, they emit sound, ultrasound, that the machine can pick up. And that reveals where they are. Here you can see the bubbles moving into the liver, literally tracing a picture of the blood vessels. This black hole means there are no small blood vessels present, meaning it's not cancer. But this is. Small blood vessels are present in cancer and grow in a very disorganized way. Imaging these microbubbles is a Sunnybrook innovation and is now helping researchers diagnose cancer around the world. And because these microbubbles show a road map of which blood vessels have been shut down, that also tells doctors if a cancer treatment is actually working. The future hope is to load these bubbles up with treatment and shatter them with high intensity sound when they reach diseased tissue, much like an opera singer would shatter a wine glass with her voice alone. It's a lot of hope in a tiny bubble, proving that wonderful things can come in small packages too. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.